Hello and welcome everyone back to Microsoft 365 training. In this video, Mahmoud Niaz with you from IT Pro Guide. So in the last video, we learned about what is Microsoft 365 and uh, it's a set of apps that gonna helps you to uh, connect and work together remotely from different locations, from different devices uh, securely. This is what we understood about Microsoft 365. So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, some type of cloud services. Why? Because Microsoft 365 is a cloud services. You subscribe it as a cloud service. So we need to know what is a cloud service. So simply we can define a cloud service is it's a delivery of service over Internet. Uh, whatever the service, for example, server, storage, network, application, software, whatever you consume over Internet that we can consider as a cloud service a simple example is gmail uh, it's a it's a cloud service the actual gmail application is running in google data center and we are just consuming it we use it to send email receive email store our files but we are not the owner of that application we only consume our portion that's it so that is what a cloud service the most common setup that we know is uh, called on-site or on-premises solution. So in an on-premises solution, uh, if you want to implement a solution like a file share solution, let's say, then you need to uh, build a data center. If you have an existing data center, then you need to add additional servers. Then you implement the operating system. Then you create an application on top of it. Uh, in, in total, you are responsible for everything. Uh, capacity performance availability everything so one of the key point that you need to keep in mind when you go for an on-site solution uh, we need to pay uh, in, in addition to this uh, management responsibility we need to pay an upfront cost for the server and also uh, we need to consider that the in, in, in case if you want to improve the performance by increasing some uh, hardware for example RAM or if you want to increase the capacity, then also you need to purchase additional uh, hard disk actually. So those cases are also uh, a time consuming uh, process in most of the organization. So scalability always uh, a headache when you implement uh, on-site solution. So these are the key uh, points that uh, you need to keep in mind uh, when you consider to implement something in on-site uh, setup. And coming to the cloud services, there are three type of uh, cloud services. We can say infrastructure as a service, then platform as a service, and also software as a service. So let's go through these uh, three type of cloud services. Then uh, that will help you to understand uh, what, what is your responsibility if you go for a, a cloud service. So the first one is infrastructure as a service which means the cloud service provider manage the infrastructure that is the actual server behind it network virtualization but it is your responsibility to manage the operating system that gonna run on top of that uh, vm and also middleware whatever the data you have and application so you get exactly it as a virtual machine that uh, for example running in a vmware or hyper v how the virtual machine that you access the same way you can access the virtual machine then there it starts your responsibility the second type of uh, cloud service is platform as a service so as it names uh, you get a platform uh, as a service so instead of uh, implementing your own operating system middleware and runtime you can just implement your application so a simple example and very common one is wordpress so if you buy a wordpress uh, uh, then uh, you you're not responsible for the operating system or middleware you can implement the uh, website then you are responsible for the application and also you are responsible for the data that you have in, in wordpress so you have to take your own backup you have to manage the application but coming to the uh, back end the hardware the middleware the operating system it is completely uh, goes to the service provider responsibility so that is what is a platform as a service now the final one that is software as a service 
So Microsoft 365 is a good example for software as a service. If you look at the picture, you can see uh, all the responsibilities goes to the service provider. We just consume the application. That's it. So you don't need to worry about the data backup. You don't need to worry about the middleware operating system. You even don't know what is running in the backend. So that is what a software as a solution. So there are other examples also like a Dropbox, Gmail, Google Drive, Zoom, Microsoft Teams. So these are software as a service solution. So we discussed about different type of cloud services and Microsoft 365 is a software as a service. So your responsibility is only to consume the application. You don't need to worry about uh, the networking operating system or application or data backup. That's it. See you in the next video.